Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. Uh, for the order of the Black 15th anniversary, we want to do something very special, and we need your help. In conjunction with Edwin Rush and John Kim, Edwin and John, are you here? Raise your hand. In conjunction with Edwin and John, video, videographers, who most of you work with on the Other Living Black Inspiration video project a few years ago, we're teaming up with Edwin and Joan again on a project Building a Culture of Empathy, a visual arts and community program coordinated in a visual arts piece and video. For more information, please see me, Joan, Edwin, or Stephen before leaving today. Our 15th anniversary year of the Other Living Black, which will be next year. And uh, we're planning, hopefully, if we get sponsorship, we can get you guys to participate as artists, as community. Uh, we'll want to be uh, working with Edwin uh, Rush and Joan Kimps on a building empathy community. Mm. And uh, we want to match artists with community members, artists with kids in the schools. Mm. Uh, and we want to build this process around the concept of uh, empathy. And uh, the Other Living Black has uh, worked uh, in conjunction with uh, Edwin and Joan in the past mm -hmm. on the Inspiration, Order Living Black Inspiration Project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be built around the World Cafe uh, models, mm -hmm. uh, where we're breaking off into small units. We're having dialogue with each other about what empathy means to you, Elizabeth, what it means to me, what comes out of that process and develop some visual imagery around it, perhaps, some documentary video around it. Uh, so we're going to carry this into the community. We're going to carry it in our artist community as artists. Maybe Pat and I down logging about her as a photography, me as an art visual person, a muralist, a community organizer, da da da. Mm -hmm. How do you see me then after the conversation? Uh, so these are some of the things we're thinking about, and we want to pull everybody in, and we're having a sign-up sheet. We have, uh, the, uh, last week's opening, we had 40 or more people signing up, uh, moving in, and that's a nice set of workshops that's already, mm -hmm. you know, possible. It just needing organizing. We're not too far along in the planning process, uh, so we need ideas, and all you great panelists, and uh, comment from the floor had just been, as you all said, inspirational. And uh, But this is what we need. We need to dialogue. We need to sort of stay active. We need a task force, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about that. And that's exactly what uh, we're going to be doing. And so I want to introduce uh, Stephen. You want to say a few words? And then Edwin. Everything looked like it really turned out well. I was at Mills College today. So but uh, it looks like you guys had a real good discussion on the topic. The Empathy Project seems like a wonderful fit for the art of living black. I think it's something that everybody should really consider participating in. I think we can get some good things on it. And like you were saying, some things that, that, that uh, really can bring in the youth in this community. Because uh, they've really been, you know, they really haven't participated too much in the rack. And I really like to see that happen. Behind the camera. So I'm going to get into the limelight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. so, uh, I think it was about three years ago that Joan and I did a, a project uh, with, uh, it was four of the artists, at least four, maybe five of the artists that are here, uh, called Inspiration and the Art of Living Black. And we interviewed uh, uh, 45 of the artists, we did this wonderful, had this great time and did all these this art activities and acting, had people up there doing <laughs> acting out and inspiration oh, and everything. So. <laughs> you remember? Yes. <laughs> so, so uh, we had a great time, and now um, I've kind of been inspired uh, with, actually with Barack Obama. He has been talking, I don't know if you're aware, but in his campaign he talked repeatedly about the importance of empathy. He said the country has an empathy deficit, mm -hmm. and we have to address this uh, deficit. And I've gone through all of his speeches, and he's mentioned empathy in about 60 of his interviews mm -hmm. and speeches. And I've collected all that, and you know, and so I'm working on a documentary now on 
on the theme of empathy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, I was talking with Herschel and Stephen, and they were really interested in this whole topic. And so we want to actually do this whole year-long project mm -hmm. of doing empathy cafes and interview workshops, which some of you remember. And so we're really excited uh, about it. And, mm -hmm. You know, hope that everybody gets involved and we'll be having roundtable discussions and interview workshops and uh, we'll be videotaping the whole process and we were actually just at Mills College, sorry, we came a little bit late, but we interviewed everybody. They already gave a little bit of a, a talk about right. what they were expecting, some of their uh, expectations and a couple comments on uh, about uh, empathy. Okay and kind of what they were envisioning, saying, oh, this is going to be a great project, so it will <laughs> be. Think, it things will like be. that. So yeah. uh, we can turn it over to uh, Joan. She was a dancer when she was younger, and uh, <laughs> she still does that. So maybe we'll see what she was <laughs> Anyway, I'm putting you in this box. Uh, no, you were telling me I was talking too much, so it's going to be very... <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody that. Uh, um, I think you both covered it very, very well, but I noticed when I was talking to the, uh, the artists at uh, Mills College what came up a couple of times, and I think it would be a great goal, I'm sure you know everybody will have their ideas, would be an exhibit uh, where everybody interprets empathy in their own way. And I love the idea that you brought up because I'm very much into integration of art. And I think Richmond Art Center has really been stepping up to the plate with Muriel, having a, a ballet background. I don't know if any of you came that day when we danced around the sculpture. And really, a lot of people came from the community. And now I notice we're putting music in our exhibits. And so I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning that part of an exhibit too and I, I think it would be really exciting that more different types of communication that's what I call it <laughs> the more exciting it would be and um, and I love your uh, question about the youth because that would be a great goal for this project 